Hi, this is Brian here. Going to do a quick review for you on the Nikon 18 to 70 f3.5 to 4.5G. It's a IFED uh, DX AFS lens. It's a very high quality lens. Uh, the build quality is better than you're going to find on the kit lens that comes with the 3100 and 5100 uh, 18 to 55. This is a far superior lens to that. Price range on this lens, I don't think it's in current production, but it's still listed out on the Nikon site. Just shy of $500 is what they cost brand new. Um, and uh, refurbs are about $430, bucks, somewhere in that price range on Nikon's site. You can get refurbs cheaper on other from other dealers. Um, I bought mine from KEH Photo and Like New Minus and been very happy with it. Their customer service is very good. Uh, I did have a little issue with my lens, uh, which is also one of the problems. You know, this lens has some quirks, and I'll, I did a lot of research. And three things about the lens that you may have if the lens fails. <clears throat> some people complain about the barrel jiggling a little bit inside the lens. Mine does that. Um, and I was going to send it back for that, and then uh, when I saw the images, the image quality I was getting out of it, I decided to keep the lens. So. Anyway, uh, this is mounted on a D5100 body. It's a 60, 67 millimeter uh, diameter. And that's what the lens looks like. Mounted on a body. You can see up here it does have the uh, distance in feet and meters for the focus, which typically is their better quality lenses. Actually, more like a pro quality lens. The uh, 18 to 55 doesn't have that. It has a manual auto switch and an auto or a manual switch here. And basically, if you go manual, then it's full manual on the focus. If you go manual auto, it it's an auto mode. But if you are zooming in and uh, you find out that uh, you're not quite getting the right focus, you can grab the focus ring and just go right to focusing. It'll automatically switch the lens into manual mode for you. So. Pretty cool, you know, like I said, it, it really is kind of a professional grade lens. Very, very far superior pictures to what you're going to get with an 18 to 55. Pretty sure the image quality is superior to the 18 105 and also superior to the 18 or the uh, yeah, 18 to what is it, 130 or 135. Pretty much superior to all their zoom lenses, uh, less than a thousand dollars. They make a 16 to 70, I think. That's a professional grade lens. That's going to set you back some bucks. That's probably superior to this, but basically because it gives you a little wider angle. But uh, the image quality is professional quality from this lens. So that's, like I said, the best quality zoom lens that I think Nikon makes, uh, you know, for definitely under $500. So, um, Highly recommend getting body only on any of the Nikon DSLRs, the 7000, D7000, 5100, probably the new 5200, uh, and the 3100 and the 3200. Um, I would buy body only and put this lens on it. I'd find this lens, b &H Photo also sells it. You can buy this lens quite a few places, uh, like new or refurbed. And uh, this is the way I would go with the lens if your image quality is number one. There is three failure modes uh, this lens has if you have trouble with it from what I've done all the research on this lens. Some people get dust in the elements over time. Some people have trouble with there's three screws in there. And sometimes one of those will come loose and uh, it'll jam the zoom. And then some of them complain about the jiggly barrels which is what mine has. I can live with it though as long as it's giving me the image quality that I'm getting currently out of it. Um, I can live with that. So I'm keeping this lens. Um, once I saw the quality I was getting out of it, I decided I wasn't going to let go of it. <laughs> but KEH had already sent me a FedEx number. Their customer service is real good. Image, images out of this thing are, is, is stunning, really. Professional quality uh, results. It came with both end caps and the tulip lens hood with it. If you want to give up the lens hood and the caps, I think you can actually pick it up a little cheaper, probably for around $220. But 
Um, I wanted all the caps and everything to keep so I could keep the thing in good good quality working condition when it's not mounted on the camera. And uh, I'm going to re re uh, review the D5100 body on a separate review. Um, YouTube's been hassling me a little bit, so anyway, uh, I'm going to try to keep the uh, video as short as I can. But I highly recommend the lens. I'm going to put up about four images from this camera on the end of this video. And uh, that will show you the quality I'm getting. I think one of them will be a waterfall that's HDR'd. It was HDR'd outside the camera. Uh, but that's, that came from this lens. All these pictures came, most of them came straight out of the, straight out of the camera with this lens. Um, and basically, uh, there's a couple mallard ducks. I'm going to put that out there. Everything else except the one waterfall uh, is right out of the camera. So I've only had it a few days, so I haven't got a whole lot. A lot of my shooting, I had foot surgery, and a lot of my shootings just been out the window of the house. And and so uh, basically, uh, what I've had to do is uh, just I've got four or five that are good enough to show you what we're getting. That's something I you know that's worthy of being posted on YouTube, and that'll give you an idea of the quality. But it's tack sharp. It's tack sharp. Highly recommend the lens. I think you'll be happy with it if you pick one up. Anyway, this is Brian signing off. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye.